Uh, this course we think is going to be really unique because it is 50% uh, based upon simulation. And the whole idea is that uh, participants in this course are going to uh, be exposed to complex uh, clinical scenarios with members of their team. So it won't just be a cardiothoracic surgeon, but perhaps their intensivists, uh, their perfusionists, uh, their nurses, uh, their physician's assistants, and any other uh, caregivers who are involved in the care of uh, these types of patients. And we're going to be exposing these participants to uh, situations like postcardiotomy shock and the need of mechanical support, the different options and complications that can come with that patient population, cardiac arrest and emergent ECMO cannulation, uh, and acute respiratory failure and cannulating patients for a venovenous ECMO and the opportunity to provide ambulatory awake ECMO. We're also going to be covering uh, things like ECMO transport, not just including uh, intra-hospital transport, transporting within your facility uh, to CAT scan, to the operating room, and all the sort of tips and tricks that, that come with these uh, challenging situations, but also inter-hospital transport, so going out to retrieve patients uh, that are either in cardiac or respiratory failure and bringing them back uh, on ECMO support. There's tremendous growth in the use of ECMO. We think a lot of the technologic advances have made uh, ECMO uh, easier to do and, and more feasible, and the outcomes are getting better, but it is still very complex therapy and definitely requires experience. And so participants should really take advantage uh, of the experience that uh, uh, many of our faculty members uh, have, have, um, have, have brought to the table.